everyone. How are you all? I hope you are all fine. Today we are going to take the online classes because of heavy rain. Today I am going to take grade 6 science class. Yes, last class we are seeing about food spoilage or spoilage of food. By the characteristics we have seen and the effects we have seen, what are the effects has been happening and what are the characteristics. Food spoilage is that the spoilage of food with the help of the microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, virus, many of the microorganisms spoils the food. Here, the characteristics of the spoilage of the food is that the taste will change and the sore taste will come and there is a there is a change of color and there is a change of smell. Total, there is a change. So, according to this, there is a spoilage of food happens. So, next topic is that today we are going to see the topic the methods of food preservation. What is the importance meaning of food preservation? The thing is, food can be preserved in many ways. What are those ways or what are the food preservation methods we will see in this case? The food preservation methods are of many types. In that, I have given you some types here. What is adding salt? The next one is adding oil and comes to adding sugar, adding vinegar, then freezing. This freezing is that using a refrigerator, there are two types of freezing. One is low temperature freezing, another one is high temperature freezing. High temperature means it can it might be happened that while what we are keeping in the refrigerator. And the low temperature means it is below 4 degrees centigrade. And next we are coming to air type packing. And air type packing, it is air type packing and using artificial preservatives. These are or two of the industrial methods. These are the industrial preservative methods. And next finalizing that with the pasteurization or pasteurizing. By coming on the explanation of the pasteurizing, I'll tell you what is pasteurizing. First, we can see how adding the salt. What do you mean by salt? I hope in all the homes we can see the salt. Every one's home the salt is available. So here adding the salt is that what is the necessity of adding the salt? The necessity of the adding the salt is that while if you add the salt to the vegetables, for example, raw mangoes, you all love mangoes, even amla, and you can say that gooseberry. So if you add salt to that, the water might be produced from that. What the water has been produced from that, it releases or it removes what are the microorganisms present in that and make the, if any of the microorganisms present in that, it makes the microorganism to dehydration. You all know that dehydration is nothing but the loss of water. There is no water present in our body. So even the microorganisms get dehydration. So at that time, none of the microorganisms cannot grow on such fruits or such vegetables cannot grow. For example, you can say that by adding the salt, you can, uh, after cutting the brinjal or cauliflower, if you add the salt to that, it doesn't make the brinjal to become black color and you can remove the insects, what are the insects present in the cauliflower, so it can be removed with the help of the salt content because there is a dehydration will be there in the help of the salt content. So, the water has been released there. So, next topic is that we are coming to adding sugar. Sugar is that, you are know in all the homes we have sugar. Why we use the sugar? Sugar is that, the examples of the sugar is that jams. You all love jams. I know you all love jams. We used to apply the jams on the bread and we have the breads. So jams, jellies, you all know jellies, it is a semi, semi solid consistency. And marmalade, marmalade it's a new word for you. And this marmalade is nothing but it. it is an orange smash or the orange jelly like substance, which is the extraction from the orange. It is called marmalade. And even the splashes, the splashes is nothing but the, it is also a semi solid content or a juice type which we extract from the fruits. And that can be added sugar. Why we add sugar also? It releases the most content of water will be released from the the, this fruits. So what happens? It can be dehydration. Again, we are coming from the dehydration. It can be dehydrated. So what happens here? Here also the microorganism, if it has been dehydrated, the microorganisms cannot grow. So it can be by adding sugar also you can reduce the microorganism. Next, the part is that we are coming to adding oil. This also one of the preservative methods coming from the oil. You can see that you all know that you all love pickles. Why? Because using while eating the curd rice, you use the pickles. Why? Because pickles are so tasty. If you add much oil to the pickles, the oil makes the microorganisms or the air cannot enter inside the organ. So the pickles 
can be stored for a long period of time and it cannot be spoiled very fast. It cannot, it won't leave the, the oil won't leave the air to enter inside the pickles. So the pickles can be stored for a long time. Next topic is that we are coming to the adding vinegar. You all know vinegar. I think you all love uh, fried rice, gobi manchuri. So for all this we use the uh, vinegar and vinegar is nothing but it is an acid content and that is called acetic acid and it has been used for many food items. I told you like fried rice and gobi manchuri. It has been used for many food items to give a tangy taste. You all know that the tangy taste and there is a tangy flavor even in the chips also. Even this can be stored with the help of fruits and vegetables can be stored in the vinegar. Because of the acid content is present in the vinegar, so the vegetables and fruits cannot be spoiled very fast. And next, using the refrigerators, there are two types as we use in the refrigerator we are facing. One is the lower temperature refrigeration, that is what the vegetables or the fruits we keep in a particular temperature, it won't spoil very fast. Why? Because in minimum low temperature, the organisms cannot grow. The organisms cannot grow. So, in the minimum low temperature, the organisms cannot grow. So, it, the vegetables and fruits can be kept in the lower temperature. And coming to the freezing point, the freezing point is nothing but that is that we are keeping them in a below 4 degree centigrade. What is below 4 degree centigrade? What we use the fish or a meat and the frozen food and many of them. Ice creams has been used. You all have ice creams, right? So this type of food has been kept in the freezing. The freezing is that the freezer will be on the top layer of the refrigerator. So there will be a below zero degree centigrade. And so below zero degree centigrade, you can see that the ice creams has been formed in the freezer form. So there below four degree centigrade, we can refrigerate fish, meat as well as the ice creams. It keeps it for a fresh and good condition and many of the microorganisms cannot enter in the freezing. And next coming to the uh, industrial packaging or the industrial use uh, artificial preservatives. What are the artificial preservatives used in the industrial process method? The airtight packaging and the using of the artificial preservative method. What do you mean by airtight packaging? You all know that all see that many of the chips, even meat, even nuts, cereals, peas, many of the things, not only this, many of the things has been used in the airtight packing and the best example is that every day I hope these are all the things are very bad to our health. This every day you use to eat lace. If you open that, there will be a complete air to be filled. So the packet will be in a bigger size. So it is an airtight packing. And even not only chips, even peas, meat, cereals, nuts, etc. So this all the things to airtight or the vacuum packing. So if they leave the, they do not leave any air to enter inside. So it is safe. And you can see that after 10 to 15 minutes, if you remove the or open the packet, and if you keep the chips outside for a long time, what will happen? The chips will become so soft. It is not so crispy. So while you eat, it is not so tasty. So they have been kept in the airtight packing. Next, we are coming to the using artificial preservatives. So to store many of the things, what are the things we are using in our day to day life? Morning first, when well, you get up, you drink a milk and a biscuit. So biscuit is also a package, and you all love chocolate. Chocolate is also a package, and you all love fruit juices like uh, squash or tropicana, like guava juice, orange juice, apple juice. When they get they use some preservatives like sodium benzoate and they use sodium bisulfite and even the calcium propagate has been used. These are the artificial preservatives and it is very, 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 very injurious to our health. Why? Because they use these artificial preservatives to preserve that food without the microorganisms. That microorganism should not enter inside. When you add the acid content or the artificial preservatives, at that time only, this will be very fresh. You know chocolates, biscuits, without chocolates, without biscuits, without the juice, you cannot live. So, these are the preservatives has been used and it is very, very injurious to our health. The name itself requests that it is not a natural thing, it is an artificial preservative. Artificial thing is that it is very, very injurious to our health. And next topic is that we are coming to pasteurization or pasteurizing. Pasteurizing is nothing but Explanation of the pasteurizing method. The pasteurization has been discovered 
boil the milk and even we boil the sambar, everything we boil. So this is also like boiling method. What is that? It is a technique and it is of two types of process. What is those two process is that? One is hot and cold treatment process. What is that hot and cold treatment process is that? You all know that everyone used to boil the milk. When you boil the milk for 10 to 15 minutes in the uh, low flame in the gas. So at that time, at that particular temperature, what happens? At that particular temperature, all the bacteria will die. All the bacteria will die in the heat treatment. So after that heat treatment, what happens? Now none of the organisms or the microorganisms or what are the things are present inside that? Everything has been dead. Why? Because it is a heat treatment. Next we come to the cold treatment. After some time, you leave for the room temperature, let it become cool. After cooling that, after the cold treatment, you, you refrigerate that in the refrigerator. So at that time what happens? It kills many microorganisms. You all know that while in 15 to 20 minutes, heating will kill many of the microorganisms. Whereas suddenly cooling, after coming to the room temperature, if you start, suddenly if you keep in the refrigerator, suddenly cooling, it inactivates the enzymes. What are the enzymes present in the milk or in any of the thing? It inactivates the enzymes. When it inactivates the enzymes, what happens? Whatever the microorganisms present in the food, it dies. And it cannot be grown in the refrigerator. Hence the food does not get spoiled. This was the this process is called pasteurization process. This was discovered by Mr. Louis Pasteur. So by keeping the help of the milk. So this is a long process and it is very important process in the dairy industries. Not only in dairy industries, even today, we in our homes we are using this pasteurization method, hot and even cold treatment has been done. So According to this chapter, the word of microorganism, I will close this chapter with the help of the methods of food preservation. So, according to this topic, we have seen many of the things and according to the vaccination, when you come according to the vaccination, we have seen antigens and antibodies. So, antigens is that it, they are foreign bodies. Don't think that foreign bodies means they come from the America or come from any of the countries. No, foreign bodies means the foreign bodies that which is outside of our body is called foreign bodies that enters into our body. They are the foreign bodies that enters our body and are responsible for generating the antibodies. So they are the foreign bodies that will enter to our body. The new bacteria or the new virus or the new fungi or new algae which enters to our body and they are responsible for generating the antibodies in our body. So for example is that dust particles. So you can see all your surroundings the dust particles even the pollens, pollens which we get from the flowers or even the bacteria. I told you the many of the dust particles which is present around us there are much bacteria are present and they are next we are coming to the antibody they are specific. You all know that antibodies are that which is present in our body. They are completely specific proteins and that will generate and it will take the responsibility it will take the responsibility of the antigen, how the antigens will generate. So it is a specific protein and it generates and even it takes the responsibility of the antigens. So according to that we have seen many of the organisms. So what is the mode of nutrition of that organism? The mode of nutrition in the organisms like euglena and Panacea. I hope you all know that autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition is that it is nothing but autotrophic mode of nutrition is that it prepares its own food. It does not depend on any of the other organisms. It prepares its own food by utilizing the plant. But when it comes to paramecium, paramecium is that it is a heterotrophic mode of nutrition or it is a heterotrophic mode in nature and it is unable to prepare its own food. It depends on other organisms for their food. So I hope you all understand this chapter and by this, we will wind up the class with the help of the homework. So I have given three question answers. That is one is pasteurization. I hope you all understand what is pasteurization and antigens and antibodies and mode of nutrition in euglena and mode of nutrition in paramecium. So the three question and answers can be written read and write three question and answers for two times. So this is the homework for this online class. So thank you everyone. Let me wind up the class. Thank you so much for giving this opportunity.